Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Nebula, look, I don't know you, like, super well, even though I've seen, well, more than I'd like to of your life. But, man, you obviously cared about Gamora. And I think you still do, so... Please, sister, give me a chance. All right. Mother. No, oh my. No. You took everything from me. I will destroy you. And all that you love. The Forge was too powerful for anyone to handle. We had a responsibility to destroy it. You destroyed a part of me with it. Now, I will do the same to you. We will fight you to our last. <laughs> She's absorbed the forge. It's power. What? How is that possible? Revenge, I get it! Hey guys, a little help here? What's the matter, Quill? Yeah. Is the big meat lady picking on you? Hey, 
can't stay down. Again? It should only be an hour or so before we get there. You excited to go camping? Of course! Can I start the fire? Okay, but no lighter fluid this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? I'll be fine, Peter. I, I, I promise. Mm. Okay. I'm... Feeling a lot better with the new medicine I got. It'll just be nice to have a weekend with you. Away from our problems. It's a lost cause. We're too far from town. <laughs> Give it a rest. Give it a rest? And sit here in silence? Ugh, no way. Mom? Oh my god. I'm okay. We're okay. What? What, what happened? Oh, how did... How did we... We were just driving along and then you... You passed out. I'm so sorry, Peter. If you weren't here, it would have been much, much worse. This is my fault. I... I shouldn't have been acting like nothing's... What are you... It's getting worse, baby. I was supposed to check into the hospital this morning, but I just wanted to give you one last happy moment to remember me by. Before they plug me into some damn machine. I should have told you. 
I thought I could beat it. We have lots of memories together. And, and no matter what happens, I'm, I'm, I'm always going to remember how rad you are. <sighs> You're a hell of a kid. We all have to go, sooner or later. But it ain't over quite yet. So what do you say, hmm? One last adventure together? We can still get to the campground before dark. It should be a clear night. Every star will be out. Okay, Mom. Let's keep going. Thank you, baby. We'll make sure this memory's a keeper. So we're all in agreement then. We sell the ship and split the dough. You promised money, not the tasty combination of water and flour. Quill's just knocked out, you morons. He isn't dead. But I already called dibs on his stuff. He's got tons of earth junk in his room. I'm sure that'd fetch you a few units of the trader's market. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the concern. Really. Oh! Hey, P! We were totally looking out for you, man. Your stuff, your legacy, that's real important. It should be sold for as much money as possible. Well, we're not getting back up there. Great time to have my jet boots busted. We'll have to find another way out. Hey, Drax. You see any way out of here? I have looked up. I have looked down. I have even turned in a complete circle. There is no exit. Hmm. All right. We'll keep looking. I will not rest until I find that treacherous exit. If there is a way out, I will find it. It cannot hide. What's up, Mantis? Oh, hello. Is everything okay? I just wanted to thank you for catching me. Anytime. And I'm sorry for intruding on your memory of your mother. She seemed like a nice woman. Yeah, she was. Hey, Rocket. Ah, look, it's our troubled leader, Peter Quill. Just when I think things couldn't get worse, just when I think we've hit rock bottom, you managed to find us something lower. This time, literally. Yeah. Well, I am to please. Not a compliment, but okay. Hey, Groot. You holding up okay? I am Groot. Uh... He says he's thirsty. Uh, okay. Hey, Gamora. Nebula's really hurt. Maybe beyond repair. I couldn't stop it. This is what happens when someone gets too close to me. I've never seen her this bad before. She's tough, but that may not cut it this time. We can fix her. I'm sure of it. I don't know if there's anything anyone can do. If Rocket did it once, he could do it again. We let Nebula into the Guardians, and look where it got her. We have to live with that. Kill it! Kill it with bullets! 
Christ. Don't tell me you're afraid of that little guy. <laughs> yes, what a ridiculous looking creature. On my world, tunnel worms are filthy. That's friendly enough, I guess. It is. It's okay. It doesn't want to harm us. It's just curious. Curious about how we taste, probably. Is it chilling through that stone? Better that than us. Yeah. You're not so bad, are you? Huh. Bioluminescence. Probably how this thing communicates. Or draws in its unwitting quill-sized prey. It wants to stay with us. Maybe we should give it a name. Like a pet. I am excellent at naming things. I shall call it... Uh... Blue. I'd call it... Hungry. No, no! Its name should be obviously a death trap, because that's what it is. That's not any good. Well, I think the name is extremely appropriate. How about... Bowie? What is a Bowie? He's a musician we treat like a space god on Earth. I do not see how that is better than blue. The creature is blue. <laughs> Bowie is fine. Great. The Guardians have a mascot. I am Gru. I'm the co-pilot. I ain't no mascot. Well, would you look at that? Bowie rocks. I told you guys. He's kidding us out of here. Wait, wait, wait. No one has a problem with this. The death trap thing was not just some cute expression. It's our only way out, Rocket. <sighs> I'm putting an I told you so in my pocket for later use. Peter. What about Nebula? <sighs> hey, buddy. Can you carry her? I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. I am Groot. Hey, Bowie, wait up! This beautiful, maybe I wouldn't be so psychically scarred. Look at that. <laughs> I'd take a moment to soak in all of this beauty if we weren't about to die. That's just the way things go around here. It's like a blacklight painting down here. What is that? I am Groot! Whoa, what are you doing, Pete? That crystal there is natural torium. Just looking at one the wrong way can cause it to explode. Worth a ton of units, but highly volatile. Huh. I'm actually a little surprised no one's mined this planet dry. Maybe there's a reason no one tried. Um, not good. Guess what's happening, dummies? Rocket called. That thing led us into a death trap. They do not want to kill us. Just eat us. Oh, 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 oh okay. Look, we're not here to fight. We're friends with Bowie. Do you know Bowie? Don't look like they're fans of Bowie. These things have zero taste. 
like the smell of fried worms to really lift your spirits. Yes, just like mother's cooking. Here we go. Which way? One of these has got to lead us back to Hala. Whoa, 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 hold up. You actually want to keep going after Hala? Maybe you were watching a different show, but in the one I saw, the forge blew up in her face and she wound up with godlike powers. So, you're okay with being responsible for Hala laying waste to the entire galaxy? Wasn't my idea to try and destroy it. I said it would be bad news. Basically told you exactly what would happen. Boom! Forge in the face, Mega Hala. Magala. You are terrible at naming things. We did the right thing. Clearly, no one should be able to have that kind of power. Yeah, great job. Now that power is in her face. The power we could have used to help our loved ones. Which is exactly why we have to go after her. You don't get to talk, Gamora. It's because of you. We gotta carry out all this dead weight. She isn't dead. Yet. The word you're looking for is yet. She's as good as if you ask me. No one did. I know I failed her. I don't need you to twist the knife. Hey, everyone needs someone like me. The guy who says what everyone's thinking but it's too much of a whip to do anything about it. You're being too harsh, Rocket. Oh, this is such utter crap. No one else is gonna say it, I will. I've had enough of you, all of you. I'm going my own way. Then I'm going the other. I can't stand another second with him. For once, we agree on something. Hooray! Hey, all this, it's your fault, Quill. If you hadn't exploded the forge, I'd have one less thing to be pissed at you for. Let's go, Groot. I am Groot. What? Oh, fine, you big baby. I didn't need any of you when I started in this business, and I don't need you now. Better off on my own. Gamora, wait up. Go with Gamora. I will protect the rodent. Do not worry. Sometimes I do not need to tell you how the others are feeling. Makes my job easy. It's pretty much the worst sometimes. Oh, I'm, I'm just mad because he's right. I pushed her away, and instead she wanted to kill me. She nearly did.
You never gave up on Nebula. What she did for you? She's proven she's not the same frenzied assassin she used to be. Maybe she has changed, but I don't feel like I have. I try to help others. It always backfires. Nebula, the Nova Corps, even Rocket, they hate me. One day, assuming we survive this, you'll hate me too. I don't want to hurt you. I am Groot. No one hates you, Gamora. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. I know the truth. People fear me. Look, Gamora. Oh! <coughs> oh, God, what is this stuff? <coughs> Toxic spores. <laughs> oh, yeah, not toxic to everyone, apparently. He seems to like it. I am Groot. Am I alone in this, or was that weird? Oh, it was weird. I am Groot. That would be like you sneezing and hair sprouting all over your body. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Gamora. Nebula, I'm here. We're going to get you back to the ship and repair you, okay? She's fading. We need to hurry. It's too far to jump. We're gonna have to find another way across. Do you want to talk about Nebula? This was the first I've seen her show compassion. My sister and I, we never knew how to be anything but weapons. Flawed ones at that. She and I, <laughs> we never had a chance. You're so much more than just a blade. I'm serious. Thank you, Peter. But I know my value. Just took me a while to realize that's all I was. Any ideas on how to get across? I'm looking. There's gotta be something here we can use. We better hurry, though. Nebula won't last long. I'm gonna keep looking around. Good. Hey, uh, Groot? Have you seen anything around we could... I am... <laughs> cool. Very helpful. What's up, Groot? Why are you acting all weird? Groot am I. <laughs> you, my friend, are not in a right state of mind. I, I, am, am. Groot, Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot! <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die here. I'm gonna get back to it. Um... 
peace, dude. <laughs> Peter. You saved Gamora. You saved all of us. Sister. Make certain Hala suffers. As we have. Rest, Nebula. Rest. Hala will regret this. Hey. Check it out. Let's see where you go. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, yep, yeah, right. Still broken. Bet this bad boy could bridge the gap. Just gotta find a way to tip it over. Perfect. Can you give me a lift into that tunnel? Into tunnel. You understand? Yeah, forget it. Later, Groot. I am Groot. Hey, can you help me up into that tunnel? Yeah, let's go. Ready when... <clears throat> cool. Glad I could help. Hey, group. We'll be right back. Thanks. Listen, I just need you to realize something. Nebula is just the beginning. Someone else is going to get hurt, or worse. I've been ambushed before, but this time, I see the danger coming right for us. I won't let that happen. I know you mean that, Peter. I do. But I can't have another death on my conscience. I can't be responsible for my own family, let alone the whole galaxy. Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. Gamora... If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. We did great things together, but the team's fractured. Oh, you'd stay for me, right? If you leave... I'm the one that gets hurt. Aren't I reason enough? What do... What do you mean by that? What are you trying to say to me, Peter? That there's something between us. You know how much I care about you. <sighs> Peter... I know you feel the same way. Caring only makes it worse.
Here we are. One, two, three! Again. One, two, three! Last time. One, two, three! That should do it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Groot? <gasps> How did you even get over there? I am Groot. <laughs> Peter, wait. What you said about staying for you. You're right. But I'm trusting you to protect all of us. percent sure it was the worm. Sure it was, Peter. Can we just keep moving, please? The end of the tunnel's just up ahead. Anything to get away from that smell. Slow down. Nice and easy. Rocket! for to go container okay okay we're gonna get you out of here almost there uh. oh yeah crap Drax's fist. What happened? How 
How'd you end up in... the... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. Everyone stay quiet. I'll get your axe. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. than normal. This is nice and all, but we really don't have time for it. Okay, Drax, that's enough awkward hugging for today. Seriously, Drax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No. Something small. It's still fresh. Must be close. Show yourself, and I will be merciful in how I kill you. You, Papa. You should have seen your face. Outwitted by your own daughter. Those tracks you left for me, Kamaria. They were a clever decoy. You taught me well. <laughs> but you didn't remember your own teachings. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child... Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you the tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. 
Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. When you are older, you will understand the importance of a sound union. I'm old enough to decide now. I don't need another to bind my soul to. <clears throat> you are doing very well. I remember my first, and how much it hurt. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. If that happens, you only have to come and find me. Nothing is unbeatable when we fight together. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. Then I will be more proud than my simple words can express. It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready. Like you said, it's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. I did it! I'm proud of you, Kamaria. You will do well at the training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. There's no reason to. Look at your tattoo. And know I am always with you. I will. Papa, I must go now. You have to let me go sometime. You can't hold on to me forever. <sighs> Goodbye, Kamaria. Goodbye, Papa. should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! This is where we run. Why 
to stop it. I'm sorry I used my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. Now really isn't the time for this. Then I will be fast. I'm sorry. I promised I wouldn't make you relive someone else's memory without your permission. Whew. Okay, we can go now. The ship! There's my girl! Hurry, Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat, we're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am Groot. A tree? Stop yanking my tail! It's giant and terrifying and probably wants us dead. I don't need to know any more about it. In this that. case, I'll say your extreme lack of curiosity is a virtue, Quill. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving! No! Bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah! Once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big bowie. I am Groot. Wrong again, Groot. We're all gonna die. Punch it, Pete! Not today! Dead? <sighs> Not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. Nebula, how can I... What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. Can't be put back together. This time. Honestly... Feels good to have parts of me. Just very. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. We're gonna get you help, okay? Rocket can fix anything. Not this time. Cascading system failures. The cybernetic parts of me are going dark. Organics will go offline much quicker. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. 
I <laughs> loves her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? <laughs> might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll tell her what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but I'm already dying. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to... I don't know people <laughs> trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I love you. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. I just want to focus on... In the end, she was one of us. A guardian. I think she liked it. <laughs> Being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah, and she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. 
Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. Let's find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. Desperate times, right? When aren't they? Ah! Oh, please don't jump in the ass. Well, they didn't burst into flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Hey, Rocket. I want you to go easy on Gamora. Okay, she's... Yeah, okay. I know when to back off. Hope this creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. Unloading going. I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um, why don't you check with them next time? Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of that... No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any... No, Drax! Wow. Charming. Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Said to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach.
Gamora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic. That stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you. I think. Rock, any luck lightening the ship? Gamora says if I go anywhere near her room, she'll cut off my head. It's a work in progress. Yeah, no engines here. What's up, Drax? I trained my Camaria to be a warrior, like Thanos trained Nebula. Still, I am confident she would not have fallen down the same path. Rocket, what gives her the mood lately? I ain't got a ton of interest in dying right now. Can you blame me? How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. Gamora, talk to me. I'm just glad Nebula said how she felt. I needed to hear it to believe it, you know? Stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. More thorium. Ugh. That'll give you indigestion. What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? Let's see what I can do. Gamora, how are you holding up back there? I'll, I'll be better once we get out of here. All those crystals, I can blast us out of here. Or get blown to kingdom come. Hey, Rocket. Make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there, finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Get anything off of this one. Gamora, how is emptying out the ship going? We're at each other's throats. So, just another day on the Milano? <sighs> yeah. Peter, what if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? Empty, of course. Hey, Rocket. Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so... Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just... <laughs> just curious. Looks like some kind of filler. Hmm. 
Don't mind if I do. Big boy. Drax, I know you're dealing with a lot, but so is Gamora. I have heard the news. It is unfortunate. Uh, Peter, I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. What part of everything goes don't you get? Now dump it. All. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh. That's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm proud that you found the strength to do that, man. Well, they were not heavy things. It was easy. Well, <laughs> thanks for listening to me. At least someone does. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done, okay? I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh, man. Where to start? 
throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. You know, this toy was a good primer, but I've upgraded to the real deal. Accept no substitutes. <sighs> it's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Totally sacrifice things. Fine. The gun goes. You happy? Consider my swords ditched. I am Groot. Man, that is really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? <laughs> Bowie! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. Yeah, he's gotta go. Sorry, little buddy. Excellent. Please, allow me.
Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Ugh, fine. Keep it. Oh, no thank you. The frustration you're feeling teaches me that things aren't worth the emotional baggage. Here. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Fuck it. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even after Peter's inspiring sacrifice, it's gonna be close. I'm thinking it's better to be safe and lose the extra weight. Okay, you win. Today's the day the music dies. Drex! <laughs> It is dead. Okay. With that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. Ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta, uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? That is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano, uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's, uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Ugh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth, too. Oh, <laughs> we're going out the bum. Colon. Peter, it's pronounced colon. It's working! And it's gonna be gross. The ship's never gonna be clean again. Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> We never tell anyone about this. The universe must hear of this glorious day. The Guardian's great colon escape. <gasps> How exciting! Go team. What? Oh good, sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds! Okay, okay, I hear you. It looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. Uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? I, I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. Incoming! Giant worm monster! 
Buster. Okay, Pete, I gotta write this thing. Hold on to something. Wait, Rocket, don't you dare. No! How's it going, Quill? You still with us? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Good. Now, when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle this? Yes, Rocket, I think I can manage the simple task of... Hey. Hey! Hey! the engine it's the what how is that leaking how is what leaking the inertial compensators somebody help me steer this freaking thing i don't understand the compensator gel all runs inside the ship how did that get damaged yeah so uh, one or two of the worms may have made it Side. Well, somebody deal with them before the ship shakes itself apart! Come, Tree. We shall peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. Protect my new family, like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to come find me. Here I am now. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there. The ship's breaking up. Please, Peter. Give me this. Tracks. We're losing engine power! I am... I'm sorry, man. I can't do it. We have to find another way. Peter! You must do it! Now! Damn it, Trax! I'm not doing it! What the hell is going on down there? Ah! Hang on! I'm giving it all she's got! I... I... <laughs> No! No! Come on. Say something. I am Groot. 
no. Groot! What, what happened? This is Quill's fault. I was going to fight that beast to the death, but Quill would not let me. Look at him! Poor guy. That ain't just a bark wound. That's to the core. He's a plant. He'll, he'll regrow. Oh, really? You an expert on Flora Colossus physiology now? I'll add that to your resume right under stupid dope who got Groot hurt. I ain't leaving his side, so get out of here and take us back to nowhere. We can get him help there. And you better pray he makes the trip. It's going to be a long ride home. This place is a dump. But I've never been more excited to see it. Never noticed all the rust. You wouldn't think things would oxidize in space. Look, what happened to Groot? I know it's... I couldn't let Drax do it. I know, Peter. I know. Oh, there he is, Groot. Hey. Remember that face for later when you're describing this butcher to a Nova Corps sketch artist. I am Groot. I know we have pictures of him. How's he doing? Oh, no. You don't get to be concerned. The time for that was back then. The now you have to live with is this tragically disfigured gentle giant. I Hold am... on. I know it's hard for your dumb human brain to see the parallels. But you let me go into that tunnel by myself, where I could have easily become worm food. Drax wanted to jump. You should have let him jump. Every second you hesitated, you risked us all. Drax would have died, Rocket. At least we're all here. Not for long, we're not. Quill! I have been denied the sanctification of sacrifice, and I demand mediation. Peter? I got it. He just wants to mediate. Drax, listen. Would you like to make a counter-proposal? Drax! <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. Let's see what happens if you do it many more times. Come on, Drax. Just one more. Maybe a kick for good measure. Okay. We're even. I saved your life. You got your punch. Seems fair. We have only begun negotiations. Today should have been full of glory. But you have made it gloryless. Hmm, uh, yeah, I don't think that's a word. Anti-glorial? It's on the tip of my tongue. You denied me a warrior's death and kept me from my family. That I can never forgive. Too much anger, resentment, and sadness. This is pretty typical. Some of it's us are Pete's children. Fault. Underdeveloped Who's children. My children. Stop room. it! These negative emotions drive an invisible knife through my skull. If this is the level of turmoil, why don't you all simply walk away? Surrounding yourself with so much turmoil can change you. Well, because we're family. You don't walk away from family. <laughs> yeah, right. No one ever quits a family, huh, Gamora? Thanos was a monster, Rocket. Oh, undoubtedly. But name five ways Quill is any better. It's too painful for me to continue to be around you. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. 
I must go. Okay, bye then. I will miss the way you feebly guided everyone. Perhaps we will cross paths once more. Mantis. Be careful out there. I will. I'm sure I'll feel much better when I'm... I'm away from you. Odd little bug. I'll miss her. I think. I can no longer serve under you, Quill. I must go seek out my honorable death elsewhere. Perhaps with the superior team, protectors of the universe. I already have an offer from them. Yeah, that's clearly a made-up group. You're just trying to upset Peter. No, I am not. You can contact their leader, Smeeter Twill. Now there is a leader who will let his fellow teammates sacrifice themselves. Come on, Groot. That sounds like our cue. Good luck with your death wish, Quill. And I don't care if you like it or not. It's happening. Some people think goodbye seems too permanent, so... Instead, I'll just say... I hope I never see you losers again in my life. Don't call me. I'll call you. And I wouldn't expect that call anytime soon. I thought we were friends, Rocket. Me too, Pete. Me too. Groot, let's move it. I am Groot. You're with me, buddy. Remember? Your best friend. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Rocket needs you. You should go with him. I am Groot. Goodbye, my friend. I am Groot. Come here. I am Groot. I knew you were coming with me. Never doubted it for a second. I am Groot. What? Why would you do that? I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. But what about me? I am Groot. Fine. I'll miss Groot. But that rodent? <laughs> Not really. We never really saw eye to eye. Ship won't be the same without him, though. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna miss both of them. Mantis and Drax, too. Everything we had. Then I guess you're leaving, too. No. I think I'll stick around, for now. After all, you'd be lost without me. At least we get to keep the S at the end of Guardians now. Eh. <laughs> I wouldn't let you be singular. So, what now? Time to take some action. Barkeep! Two of your most vile concoctions. One drink, and then we find Hala. <sighs> Where to even start? We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. That was easier than expected.